What's up, nerds? So, I'm coming at you today with this story because I wanted to talk about it. Now, this story is old. It's like, I think this is from last week or whatnot, if I remember correctly, from the article. And I wanted to talk about it because I I find it very interesting and, uh, you know, and a little bit fascinating. Uh, As you can see here, and from the title of this video, is that Twilight is getting a TV series. Now, they made this uh, announcement that it was getting a TV series, but it looks like it's going to be animated, and I find that very interesting. First off, I love animation, but however, I'm not really a huge fan of Twilight. I read all those books because I was like, all right, let's see what this hoopla is about, and I did not like those books. I thought the writing was terrible, but I know that a lot of people do like those books, and I'm, listen, if you like it, I can't stop you. I, my wife likes it. She loves those books. And I'm like I tell people, you like what you like, and I'm not, I'm not shitting on it. It just wasn't for me. The movies, however, I thought were not for me also. But there are some things that I do find interesting about the, 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 the story that I do. I will mention later on, but there is some stuff that I do find fascinating. However, that last movie, I did like the big battle sequence. I thought that was pretty good. But that was the only, that's really the only part that I like. All, I like the fight sequences there. That's what I like about it. Those movies. Other than that, I don't like those movies. All right, so let's go over to this article right here. And this comes from TV Insider. So we're going to pull this up and I want to talk about it. So there are two stars of the movie franchise. There's Bella and Edward. Look how cute they are. Anyway, so it says, in 2023, it was announced that a Twilight reboot TV series was in the works at Lionsgate. And now the company is offering more background on the latest adaptation of Stephanie Meyer's best-selling books. Instead of envisioning a live-action remake, Lionsgate is opting to take the animated route for the television venture. Now, I don't know if this is the best idea for them in terms of the fandom. You know, I did ask my wife if she would watch this because she is a fan of those books. uh, And she said probably not, uh, you know, because she really didn't like the the way the movies went, from what I understand, from what I I, don't quote me on this because I can remember exactly what she told me. And when talking about Twilight, it goes in one ear out the other because I just don't care. But uh she, she just said she uh, wasn't, and my wife's not like huge into animation, not like me, I love animation, but anyways, so it says the show is being uh, shopped around with a John Wick offshoot, which uh, Lionsgate Vice Chairman Michael Burns revealed during a Q&A at the Morgan Stanley Media Conference. According to Deadline, We're going to go out with this Twilight series, an animated series. I think there will be a lot of interest in that, Burns said. Now, I did see some people online saying, like, we don't need another Twilight, you know, a retelling of the same story. And I go, maybe not, but there's more. You can add more things on when you do a TV series. And I'll get into that in just a little bit more. Let me read just a tiny, tiny bit more of this article. As previously reported... Sinai Daly, I don't know how to say that, was tapped to serve as writer on the project that could either be a remake or an offshoot of the book series. Meyer is also reportedly involved with the adaptation as a Wick Godfrey and former uh, Lionsgate Motion Picture Group co-president Eric Fage. Uh, who brought the book rights during his tenure at Summit Entertainment. As fans of the original franchise will remember, the Twilight films became a worldwide phenomenon with the 2008 release of the first movie directed by Catherine Hardwick. Four other movies, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and Breaking Bomb Part 2 followed, making up what is known as as the Twilight Saga. The franchise made stars out of the cast, of crew, including Kristen Stewart uh, and Robert Pattinson. I don't want to get into all that stuff. With the news of this being an animated adaptation, does that mean there's room for original franchise stars to reprise their roles via voice acting? It's certainly something to ponder. Le- uh, okay. Uh, as far as... Okay, so now let me just talk about my thoughts on this overall. So first off, I think that if they do do a, I said do do, if they do this as the original story, like if they do this as an offshoot, they're doing different stories, you know, they could, they could do the other vampire stories, the other families, the other groups or whatever, how people became vampires, you know, do their stories some justice. I go, great. If they're doing different stories, great. If they're doing the books 
in animated form. I also don't think this is a bad idea. It's like kind of like how they're doing that Harry Potter series over at Max on HBO Max. I go... First off, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I'm all for it. I'm all for telling those book stories again. But for this, I go, I think this is a good idea. And why is that? Because you get to tell more stories and more time. For instance, you know how you had, you know, uh, you know, you have the Volturi. You could tell more stories about that. Like, for instance, there's that one Volturi. I don't remember his name, but he controls like people's emotions or whatever. And he's all, in the movies. He's all like. Can we just get on with it? I'm hungry. And I I thought, I, mean, I can't remember if it said in the books or if I had read it somewhere that he had like a vampire lover and she ended up dying or wanted to die. So he died. And that's why he's all like doom and gloom all the time. And I'm all like, that's an interesting story. They could, they could spend some time with that. Give that a little bit more time to breathe, you know, get us to know that character a little bit more. So I think that when it comes to those kinds of things, I think that that's interesting. And personally, I, w- I would want to see, I would like to see that and, uh, as far as, as that goes. Um, I do I do know that some Twilight fans might not like this. and They might get a little bit upset. But first off, I love animation, so I'm all down with the sickness. And I do think this will also give the opportunity for these people to come back and give their, their um their voice acting, you know, that Taylor Lautner, he's not doing anything. Uh, he's just going to new Taylor Swift uh, movie concerts and stuff. And uh, what was it, Rachel Green? Is that the name of the, the girl that did uh, Alice? She's not doing anything. Uh, you know, none of these people are doing anything except for the Pattinson kid. He's making that that second Batman movie, like the 10th of February. But the rest of them, they're not doing anything. I mean, Kristen Stewart was just in that movie that nobody's watching and nobody cares about. But uh, uh, yeah, let's so I say let's um I say let's uh, give it a try and if the first season sucks then just cancel it and, and move on you know what I'm saying or and if they do a spin-off series where it's a, you know like I said before maybe they could do some you know those different vampires in the thing and just tell their stories and you know, that way you get some backstory and stuff. Uh, but tell me what you guys think about this. Do you like this idea? Do you not like this idea? Are you a fan of the Twilight series or are you like me and you just think it's trash and everything? Or, you know, do you, do you just love it to death no matter what? But uh, tell me what you think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind if you do my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. You guys have a good day. Bye.